Welcome to the tutorial session of Introduction to Data Science and Artificial Intelligence course. So in this lecture tutorial we will discuss about the singular value decomposition. So in class we have discussed the basic principle behind the singular value decomposition. So if I just quickly recapitulate what is singular value decomposition. So the matrix A is it may be any data matrix can be divided into three matrices such as you have U multiplied by sigma multiplied by V T. So the original matrix A can be divided into three parts, three matrices, and this is called singular value decomposition. So in this tutorial, let me solve one problem using singular value decomposition. So let me take a very small matrix A, which is a two by two matrix. So it is minus four, minus seven, and then one and four. So it's a very small two by two matrix. So the first step to do any in decomposition, singular value decomposition is to find it out the transpose of the original matrix. So A transpose will be always minus four, minus seven. It's just in like row, row, row and column. We are just reversing. Minus four, minus seven was in a row. Now it is in column. Similarly, one and four was in row wise. Now it also should be you know, column wise. So this is our AA transpose, first matrix. So now in the step one, we have to multiply AA transpose. So we have A matrix and A transpose matrix multiplication will be minus four, minus seven is our A matrix, one, four. So this is our A matrix and A transpose matrix will be minus four, minus seven and one and four. So if you multiply, this is a simple matrix multiplication it will follow like that. So minus four into minus four will be sixteen, and then four minus minus seven into minus seven will be plus forty nine. So this is our first value. Then second value will be minus four into one will be minus four, and minus seven into four will be minus twenty eight. So this is second value. Third value is one into minus four is again minus four, and the four into minus 7 will be minus 28 and last value will be 1 into 1 is 1 plus 4 into 4 is 16 so this is the matrix multiplication so what we get at the end is 49 plus 16 is 65 then uh, we have mi minus 4 minus 28 is minus 32 Similarly, minus 4 minus 28 is here also minus 32 and then 16 into 1 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So this is the matrix. We got it after multiplying AA transpose. So now the third step is we have to find it out eigenvalues of this matrix. So how to find it out eigenvalues? So eigenvalues finding out we have the equation for that. So the equation is A, A transpose minus lambda i. So this determinant, <coughs> determinant of this matrix must be equal to zero. So that's how we find it out eigenvalues. So AA transpose already we multiplied. So this is the final value. So simply just plug in the value 65 and we have minus 32. Similarly, minus 32 and 17. So this is our AA transpose. Now minus lambda i. So i is the identity matrix. Identity matrix is nothing but one zero. 0 1 so now if I do this is simply matrix uh, subtraction so you have 65 minus so m lambda into 1 will be lambda 65 minus lambda then 32 minus 32 minus 0 will be minus 32 here again so here also you have minus 32 and lastly 17 minus lambda so 17 minus lambda so this and determinant of this matrix must be equal to 0. So then we can find it out lambda. So determinant, how to calculate determinant? Determinant is simply just cross multiplication. So determinant will be multiply this value and this value and uh, minus multiply this value and this value. So let's do it quickly. So we have 65 minus lambda this mul multiplied by 17 minus lambda. So minus 17 minus lambda minus th minus 32 into minus 32. So minus 32 into minus 32. So this must be equal to 0. So now if we simplify this equation, what do we get? 65 
into 17 is uh, 1105. So 1105. Then 65 into minus lambda will be minus 65 lambda. Then you have minus lambda into 17 will be minus 17 lambda. And then minus lambda minus lambda will be plus lambda square. Then here you have minus 32 into 32 will be 1024. 1024 this equal to 0. So now if we simplify this equation we get lambda square minus 65 and 17 will be 82 lambda plus 1105 minus 1024 will be 81. This must be equal to 0. So next uh, we can easily decompose this equation lambda square minus 81 lambda minus lambda so 82 lambda can be decomposed into 81 lambda and 1 lambda plus 81 must be equal to 0 so now again we we try to uh, you know, take the lambda common here so what we get is lambda minus 81 so lambda minus 81 minus 1 common again so here also we have lambda minus 81 equal to 0. So from here again if what we get is lambda minus 81 and also lambda minus 1 equal to 0. So from this equation we can easily find it out what is the value of lambda. So lambda value will be so lambda value will be 81 and 1. So two lambda values we got it after solving this equation and this equation is called the these two values are called eigenvalues of the matrix. So now from here we have to compute these three matrices right so, so u v and so these three matrices we have to find it out u sigma and vt. So as we already find it out sigma value is 81 uh, lambda value is 81 and 1 that means we got this middle matrix. So now how to rewrite the middle matrix so middle matrix sigma will be equal to first value we got it 81 so always first value should be higher eigen value should be written at the top position so it will be square root of 81 and then 0 and here 0 and here second value is 1 so square root of 1 we have to write so this is our lem no, sigma matrix which is the diagonal matrix so if you simplify square root of 81 is 9 0 0 and square root of 1 is 1 so this is our first matrix which is sigma matrix now and this value is these values are also called eigenvalues so now the next step step uh, so, so in the first step we have just multiplied these two value in the second step we calculated the eigenvalues and we got the second matrix which is sigma matrix now in the third step we have to find it out eigenvectors based on these eigenvalues so let's find it out eigenvectors of this equation Okay, so now we here we have two eigenvalues, one is 81, another is 1. So let's find it out eigen eigenvectors for each of these eigenvalues. So first we will find it out eigenvector for 81 and then we will find it out eigenvector for 1. So let's get started. So first for lambda equal to 81, what will be the eigenvectors? So how to do it? The equation is same which we have used earlier. So it is a a transpose a a transpose minus lambda i earlier we have used. Here we have used a, a transpose lambda i. So here now lambda value we will put it 81 and i is basically our identity matrix which is 1 0 0 1. So this multiplied by so this vector into v ones v11 one one and v21 so this two are the eigenvectors for 81 and this must be equal to 0 0 so now from here let's substitute the values so first is a a transpose a transpose already we have calculated so same value will give it 65 and then we have minus 32 and minus 32 and we have 17 so this is a a transpose minus we have this 81 i so 81i means 81 into 1 is 81, 81 into 0 is 0, 81 into 0 is 0, 81 one into 1 is 81. So this into v11 and v21. So our objective is to find it out v11 and v21 for now. So and here it is 0, 0. 
so now let's find it out uh, these two values this is simply a matrix subtraction so how will you do matrix subtraction simple so 65 minus 81 65 minus 81 is minus 16 then you have 32 minus 0 minus 32 minus 0 is minus 32 similarly minus 32 minus 0 will be again minus 32 and 17 minus 81 will be minus 64 so this is our first matrix second matrix is same v11 and v21 and this equal to 0 0 so now from here what we get it is we simplify now if you see all elements in this matrix has a 16 common right so we can take minus 16 uh, know, from out everywhere so minus 16 then you will have 1 here so 1 into minus 16 is basically minus 16 similarly from here you will get 2 so 2 into minus 16 is minus 32 similarly here also 2 we just simplified this and this will be 4 so 4 into 16 is 64 so just 16 we have taken common from all the four fact four elements and then you have v11 and v21 so these two values and this must be equal to 0 0 so uh, we are finding out v11 so as we can see this side is 16 and this side is 0 so we can simply remove those 16 from the uh, equation so finally we have 1 2 2 4 equation I mean matrix and also this side you have v11 and v21 and this equal to 0 0 so now we have to find it out v11 and v21 so how to do it it is again simply matrix multiplication so matrix multiplication will be v11 so 1 into v11 plus 2 into v21 and this equal to first row is 0 similarly 2 into v11 from second row we get it 2 into v11 plus 4 into v21 so 4 uh, 4 into v21 let me erase this part yeah so the next part will be 4 into v21 equal to 0 so now we have to find it out v1 and v2 from this expression so here also from if you see from second expression you can take two common right then you have v11 plus 2 v2 1 equal to 0 because what I have did I did two common right from entire expression then again 2 2 will get cancelled out so finally we have from second expression is v11 plus 2 v21 equal to 0 and from first expression also if you see 1 into v11 plus 2 into v21 so here it was 2 we missed 2 into v21 is equal to 0 so now if you see this expression and this expression both expressions are equal that means we can write v11 equal to minus 2 v21 so just if you take v21 this side then it will be minus 2 v1 so this is our expression eigenvalue expression so now if you consider v21 value as a 1 then what is the v11 so let's uh, assume let's assume v21 equal to 1 then what will be the value of v11 so v11 will be simply if you put it 1 v21 below is 1 then v11 will be minus 2 so minus 2 so our first vector we got it is v11 is minus 2 and 1 uh, will be this is our first eigen eigen vector so from 81 we got it right for if you consider lambda is equal to 81 then our eigen vector is this one minus 2 and 1 so minus 2 and 1 is the first eigen vector so now we have to simplify this expression this is not a unit length we have to make it as a unit length so how will you do it so we have to s divide this entire vector into a its length so what will be the length of the vector length of the vector for example you have uh, two matrix a, a triangle right so if this side is a and this side is b then what is the length of this th th this portion so if this portion is c then c is equal to square root of a square plus b square right so this is the length of this vector right so same thing so here also what will be the length of this vector so length of v11 and v21 vector so length of this vector will be equal to square root of root minus 2 square means a square plus second value is 1 1 square so if you solve it you will have root over 5 right 2 
2 square is 4 plus 1 is 5. So root over 5 is the uh, length of the vector. So now whatever we got it eigenvalue. So from here we have to divide it by length of the vector. So the eigenvector. So let's formally write it eigenvector for lambda is equal to 81 equal to what we get it is minus 2 divided by root 5 and then you have 1 divided by root 5. So this is the eigenvector for the uh, for the lambda value of 81. So similarly we can find it out eigenvector for lambda is equal to uh, 1. So this eigenvector what we have got it we considered lambda is equal to 81. So now let's uh, this this is lambda is equal to 81. So now let's do same process the same blue color color whatever I have done same thing let's do it with lambda is equal to 1 because we got lambda value is 2 2 values one is 81 another is 1. So for 81 we got this is the final expression similarly same thing we'll repeat it for you know, lambda is equal to 1. So let's do it. So now for lambda is equal to 1 what is the value let's do it so same equation same expression here what we have used the same expression same expression we'll use it now also so it will be same thing a a transpose minus 1 minus 1 lambda so this time it is minus 1 i sorry not i not lambda it is 1 i into here it was v11 and v21 so now here it will be v21 and v22 okay so v sorry not v it will be v12 and v22 so it will be v12 and v22 uh, equal to again 0 by 0 0 matrix same process we'll be repeating now so a a transpose already we have calculated which is 65 into uh, 65 32 65 30 minus 32 minus 32 and here it is 17 so this minus 1 i i means again identity matrix which is 1 0 0 1 so this again v 1 2 v 2 2 will be there v 1 2 v 2 2 this equal to 0 by 0 0 matrix so now if you do matrix subtraction what you will get it is 65 minus 1 will be again 64 minus 32 minus 0 will be minus 32 so minus 32 minus 0 will be again minus 32 and 17 minus 1 will be 16 so 16 and this part is same v12 and v22 this equal to 0 0 so now again if you take if you see all elements are multiplication of 16 so again let's take 16 common outside then you have 4 minus 2 minus 2 and this is 1 so and uh, this side is again same v12 and v22 this equal to 0 by 0 so now from here what what we can do we can again simplify so this 16 will go away this side is not there so this is matrix multiplication from here what we get it is 2 into same 4 into v12 plus minus 2 into v22 so it will be minus minus 2 into v22 so it will be minus 2 v22 equal to 0 so again uh, from second expression what you get it is minus 2 v 1 2 minus 1 into plus 1 into v 2 2 equal to 0 so now uh, you can use again both the equations if you see the similar kind so let's uh, do it here so you have v 1 2 so v 1 2 equal to from first expression if you see v12 is equal to 2 v22 by 4 
right so this 4 will come this side so 2 by 4 again it will be 2 so you will have v12 equal to v22 by 2 so this is the final expression we got it after solving this one so again if you consider v1 equal to let's do it here i think or let's do again consider one more page okay view ruler let me take ruler okay so now here at the end what we got it is this is the final expression so v12 equal to so v12 equal to this is the final expression okay let's do it here only then this will be easy so now let's consider v22 equal to 1 then what will be the value of v112 so v12 will be simply if you substitute v2 to 1 then it will be 1 by 2 so ultimately now you have the matrix of um, 0 0.5 half means 0 0.5 and 1 right so this is the second eigenvalue so again you have to neutralize you have to not neutralize you have to find divide it by unit vector so ultimately you have the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 1 equal to uh, it will be 0 0.5 by square root of 0 0.5 square same plus 1 square and it will be 1 by same value so 0 0.5 square plus 1 square so this if you simplify you will get the second eigenvector so these are the two eigenvectors for first uh, v1 and v22 so this this comes out to be 0 0.44 7 and second value is 0 0.894 so if you do this do, do these operations you will get this is the final value similarly here also if you do if you simplify this equation you you will get minus 0 0.89 minus 0 0.894 and similarly here you will get 0 0.447 so these two eigenvectors, eigenvectors you will get it. This one is for 81 and the second one is for 1. So now we got our second vector. Second vector is our u vector. So let's formally now write u vector. So u vector will be nothing but. So let's uh, do it in the next page. So okay, I'll write here only then it will be easy. So u vector will be now. u vector will be now. Uh, this one first uh, eigenvectors for 81 is minus 0 0.894 and 0 0.447 right so this is the first value and second value is the same one second value is this one you have to write it here so I think there is no space I could not able to write okay let me do it in the next page so finally our u matrix let it write it in the second page u equal to from first matrix we got it 0 0.894 and 0 0.447 so these two these values that we got it when lambda was when lambda was 81 we got this two value and then when when you got lambda is equal to 1 what was the eigenvectors eigenvectors we got it minus not minus this was plus 0 0.447 and second value we got it 0 0.894 so this first one we got it uh, this first one we got it when the the lambda was 81 and this two value we got it when the lambda was uh, it lambda was 1 so now let's solve uh, the further one so we got two matrices u matrix also we got it lambda matrix also we got it so let me again write u matrix uh, sigma matrix what we got it so sigma matrix was uh, no 9 0 and 0 1 so in the last page we solved so these two matrix we got it so what was our objective if you recall our objective was a equal to u sigma 
vt so these three metrics we have to find it out so a matrix is given in the question u matrix we already computed so this is our u matrix and sigma matrix also we computed this is our sigma matrix so now last matrix we have to find it out is the vt so vt from this expression you know what will be the v so vi so vt basically from this you can so from here how you can find v so v means you have to take u this side u will come similarly sigma also one by sigma will come so from this expression you know so sigma will come this side so it will be one by sigma you have a transpose a transpose u so from this expression you have to find it out v matrix then our problem is solved so almost uh, you know out of these three values we already calculated two matrices now the last matrix v matrix you can calculate from the basic matrix how we got it this expression this is an expression we got it from vt right so vt is this one so from vt uh, uh, this sigma will come this side right so we are finding out v equal to so v equal to means sigma will come this side so it is one by sigma then u also will come this side and a because it is transpose so we are finding our normal v that means the entire thing will be transpose a will be transpose now so this is the matrix if we solve it we will find it out the v matrix so let's find it out v matrix now so now here we have a two sigma value right sigma one and sigma sigma value lambda value is one and lambda value is uh, 81 so let's do it now so first case is when sigma equal to let's take another color so sigma equal to let's take green so sigma is equal to let's consider 81 so when sigma is 81 here so what will be the v so here again v one two and v uh, 1 1 v 1 1 and v 2 1 so this value we have to find it out so this will be 1 by lambda 1 by sigma so sigma value is 1 by 81 1 by 81 into a transpose so a, a matrix if you recall we had original a matrix in this form so a matrix in the equation it is given minus 4 minus 7 and 1 and 4 so what was a transpose then a transpose will be minus 4 minus 7 one and four so this is our a transpose so a transpose and ui ui means what first eigenvector so for for lambda is equal to 81 ui is this two value so ui is this one minus 0 0.894 and 0 0.447 because here uh, sigma value we used 81 right so sigma value we use 81 means here we put sigma value 81 81 and a transpose is this one and a transpose into ui ui means what eigenvector when the sigma was 81 so eigenvector for sigma one sigma was 81 is this value so this was the sigma value when 81 we calculated eigen value is this one so the same value we have written it here now if we multiply all these three you will get v11 and v12 so let's do it here very simple so it is again matrix multiplication so once you do this matrix multiplication the final value you get it is 0 0.447 and 0 0.894 so this is the matrix multiplication okay let me just do it one line for you then you can do the remaining part so let me do it one line so 1 by 81 then I am multiplying this matrix with this matrix so minus 4 into minus this value so the first value will be minus 4 into minus 0 0.894 right and 1 plus so it will be plus so this is one value entire value plus 1 into this value so 1 into this value is 0 0.447 similarly at the bottom it will be minus 7 into this one so minus 7 is plus so it will be 7 into 0 0.894 plus matrix multiplication uh, plus 4 into this value so plus 4 into 0 0.447 so this is the matrix you will get it so and uh, you compute this value and bottom value and you divide it by 81 for both the values and then simplified value you will get it 
so if you simplify this equation you, you will get it if you solve this equation you will get it 4.023 and 8.046 and this this lambda value is actually root square root of 81 just we just, just make a correction this is square root because lambda value we got it 81 so sigma value will be square root of 81 so this will be always square root of 81 so square root of 81 means nothing but a 9 so this value will be 9 so 1 by 9 then if you divide both the values by 9 you will get so this is the final value so now same thing we will do it for sigma equal to 1 so sigma is equal to 1 you will get again v 2 1 uh, sorry v 1 2 and v 2 2 so this two value you will get it same equation right so mm, you will get a transpose uh, t yeah, so a transpose is minus 4 1 minus 7 and 4 so this multiplied by here now unit vector for 1 so unit vector so uh, eigen vector for lambda is equal to 1 is this one so this multiplied by this one so 0 0.447 by 0 0.89 4 so these are the two matrices again it is matrix multiplication so here sigma value is 1 because square root of 1 is 1 so it is 1 by 1 so it is okay so now you multiply again you will have minus 4 into 0 0.447 so this is the first part then plus 1 into 0 0.894 similarly minus 7 into this value minus 7 into 0 0.447 plus 4 into 0 0.894 so now if you simplify this you will get the simplification simplified equation of a simplified vector of minus 0 0.894 and here you will get 0 0.447 so now final v matrix we got it now if you combine both you will get the final v matrix so final v matrix is this two value which is 0 0.447 and 0 0.894 and from here you will get minus 0 0.894 and 0 0.447 so this is our third uh, v matrix so now all these three matrix we got it so this is our u matrix if you recall uh, this was our u matrix and this is our uh, sigma matrix and just now we got it v matrix so this is how we, we do we do the singular value decomposition our original a matrix we divided into these three matrix u sigma and at the end is v so now if you multiply u sigma and v you should get the original matrix a so this is called singular value decomposition. Please practice as much as possible, then only concept will be clear to you. Thank you.